Fence, and that's was a lot. Here comes McCready. Oh, and he just sent it to the ground. Oh, 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 AD instead of KD. Well, that, that might happen. In like a that's years. that might happen I, in a couple. Yeah, years. I mean, yeah, but that's, probably, that's the next chapter probably, of the Warriors for them. Probably, um, but still, I'm like, oh yeah, we got Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, whoever you want to fill at three, uh, Draymond at the four, and Anthony Davis at the five. No, I think Draymond have to be gone at that point. But who cares? It's still yeah, David, either either way, they'll figure it out. But Kawhi, if healthy, and he's the same Kawhi, best player in the East. And then, and if he's not. Giannis, I, and that I don't also adds to have Giannis. Yeah, the no, third disagree. one is the real debate. That's a great. Yeah, you got a lot of people up there. Cause you like got, you got uh, Ky- off the top of my head, Kyrie, Gordon Hayward, if healthy, uh, Bradley Beal, yeah, Bradley Beal, um, and a little Depot. Right now, I'd say a Depot. I would I would agree with the Oladipo, which means that the East is really bad. Because I love Oladipo, but he's not a top three player in the conference. And for any of you Sixers fans out there, we just need them to play a full season in order for us to even put. Oh in no, you're right. No, you know what? Yeah, I'm, I might put Embiid up there, but I need I need. No, to I wouldn't put Embiid up. Full I w- season. Uh-huh. Oladipo and Embiid would be close for me. Giannis and Embiid, it's not close. Yeah, I'd rather have. Giannis. I, I think it's like Kawhi went healthy. And then you can go to Giannis, Giannis and then right everybody there. else is kind of fighting for that spot in between there. Uh, my my thing, I
can make any pass in the game and he can make every pass LeBron can, but he does it at three inches higher so he can do that yeah, even can, easier. Can, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it could it could almost be more effortless than what it is for LeBron, and that's like saying something. That's <laughs> that's that's crazy to even think about. And he's he's taller. And he got him beat on his team. I know. Bro. Like, like he's got to be like even if it was like you take down some of those stats, he still has. Oh, I can just give it to Joel Embiid. You, you imagine if LeBron had KG when he came in the league? It's not fair. <laughs> like, it's that, not fair. That's what and oh, let's let's not forget. If, um, say for example, if those two even play as well as they did last year and Markel Foles remembers how to shoot the ball again. Oh my God, that team's going to be like 30. <laughs> so Sixers fans, we forgot about y'all. We just like, yo, we just want y'all to get healthy and get all your shit right so that way we can actually have a real conversation with everybody. But also the Sixers are like the only team in the East that didn't get better. Yeah. Yeah, and they lost. What's his name? Out of the like the Raptors Celtics yeah. group. It was the one kid that was gonna sign with them, but then he ended up cho choosing to sign with Sacramento. No, no, that's uh, oh yeah, Bielitsa. Yeah, that kind of hurt, guys. <laughs> wait, wait, we had a deal. <laughs> I get man, listen, y'all need to tell your GM to stop letting his wife tweet everything oh, out. Oh God, that. Otherwise, y'all might make deals that made y'all approved this all season. Um, so now that we know best player Kawhi healthy, if not Giannis, everybody else is kind of fight for the next spot. Boston won. Um, okay. Ooh, even if Boston. Kawhi is healthy, Boston and won. Toronto plays how they play Boston last year. Boston won. Okay. Because if they're both healthy, Boston's better, and Boston has a real coach, not a guy who just got promoted. Yeah, if if Toronto still would have had um, KC, would be a different discussion. I'd still take Boston because I think Red's I probably I would I would still give Edge Boston. I think it'd be closer. Yes, but Toronto's coach, I don't even know. Like, yeah, his his rap sheet seems, seems to be his resume seems to be pretty I, good, but it, he still has to coach an NBA team. All due respect to Pop and Kerr, I think Brad Stevens the best coach in NBA today because he cares more. I think those than those two, and he's a healthier he's a healthier man than those two. Kerr just probably can't do as much because his, his back is broken. I mean, honestly, that's the only reason we kind of have Luke Walton as coach is because Kerr was out yeah. and Luke got to sit there all while the Warriors was all over and, the games. And Pop had the quiet thing happen. His wife just died. Like, like I honestly thought that Pop was going to retire. I, like, that's my thing is like, and he's had like the Spurs organization has been crumbling a little bit for the last couple of years and I don't think that's just a coincidence. Better hope DeMar can be that gorilla glue to help fix it all together. But anyway. So yeah, Brad, I think Boston Brad, Atlanta. yeah, Brad and uh, Hayward and just being I think good. my only issue with them is they're going to have to figure out, which I think Brad Stevens will be able to do. Uh, they're going to have to figure out minutes because now that those guys played so well last Cash. year, Somebody's not gonna be happy, or a couple. Your, your starting lineup should be, and Brad smart enough to do this is um, Kyrie, Brown, Tatum, Hayward, and Horford. Tatum maybe at the four. You switch those two around. It doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. And you just have Rozier, Smart, Ojale, Morris. Uh, you also the te this team just has so oh, they, much. Oh, they drafted the kid, the big guy. Robert Williams yeah. is that his name? He can he can come off the bench. You know, but you know he didn't answer like two phone calls right after he got drafted and then show up for like two games. Like he like he's he's a oh, problem child. Well, like, never mind. <laughs> oh, he's like he's like it's like Mitchell it's like the Mitchell well, Robinson, like the Mitchell not, Robinson like situation where but Mitchell Robinson actually is a good kid who showed up every single time and won the ball. Hmm. Well, um, all right. Well, Mo Wagner, I'm glad the Lakers drafted you then. Never mind. <laughs> you know the Lakers also were looking after Robinson too. Like, oh, really? apparently every, it's one of those things where like in 10 years, you know, like every team in the league said they could have drafted Giannis, every team in the league said they could have drafted Donovan Mitchell. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a few in 10 years, like they'll be like, yeah, we all had Mitchell on our boards. Yeah, <laughs> this is, this is, everything got to progress right, but if it does, I think it'll be a big regret for a lot of people. Yeah. Um, so we got Boston 1, 2. Uh, if Kawhi's healthy. If oh, Kawhi no, healthy, the Raptors. Raptors, Raptors are 2. Yeah. If he plays the entire year, he stays with them yeah. the entire year. Yeah, Raptors are Raptors. two, and I'll put Philly at three, three like they were last year. Just because it didn't improve. If they added anybody else of, like, significance. Well, technically. Who'd they add? Technically. If Markel can sure, shoot. Sure, sure. That's like that's a, a technical. That's kind of like sure. Ben Simmons is technically a rookie. Markel Fultz is technically an improvement. You know, if, like, I think the trade was good, but if they kept my, Mikael Bridges, I think I would have put them over Toronto. Just a thing, it's he's perfect for that team. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I don't think Zaire Smith can shoot, which is a problem because that team has yeah, just no shooting. I, I didn't, I didn't see it that much. Like, yeah, that's the one and, thing. And Embiid is a non-shooter. That. That's why they needed my man who went to Sacramento. He chose Sacramento over Philadelphia. That's crazy. Well, because Sacramento offered him three years instead of one, and the guy's been. It's the first. It was last year was his first year in the league. Oh, okay. Well, he he's, chose security. He's also 28, 29 years old. Like, I'm not mad. He's at an you. old rookie. Like he wants to get re No, well, okay. I mean, Yogi right. Ferrell did the right. same thing. <laughs> From Sacramento, you saw yeah. that. Yeah, that was crazy. Uh, so a third, fourth, I think Indiana's a solid lock to be fourth. Okay. After that, I think just because they have Giannis, the Bucks. Yeah. Just because of Giannis, the Bucks. Yeah. So that's your top five. The Wizards. Honestly, I think before we even go any further, I think Indy could be good enough to push Philly, but we'll see what happens. No. Um, no. No. Because remember, they added Tyreek Evans to come off the bench, too. Great. And he played well. If they added year. Aaron Gordon, I would say something different. They added Tyreek Evans. I'm not. I'm well, not. Tyreek Evans gave you 17. Sure. But it's not like Darren Collison can, can suddenly defend anymore, and Miles Turner is going to take that, like. Is, it, is I, think turn, take, I think it take a little is, bit. Is Ma- Monster finally taking Thompson. the leap we've been talking about for three years? He's going to take the leap. <laughs> like, like, yeah. At one point, Miles Turner is Miles Turner, and like, he's not. He's a. He's a. He's like the the poorest of the uh, unicorn big men. Who's four? What am I forgetting? They have Zabonis. They have Turner. Uh, their oh, four so was uh, Bo- was it one of the Bo- Bogdanovich guys? I can't remember. Oh, which Boyan. One. Boyan. Yeah. Okay. Well. All right. Um, after that, at least everybody. Oh, you said Milwaukee. I don't disagree there. I think the Wizards, Detroit, Charlotte. Mm, I'm gonna go. Cleveland. I'm gonna go Detroit, Washington. Detroit, Washington. And then I'm gonna say, Cleveland. Detroit, Washington, Cleveland. Yeah. So who gets left out? Um, Charlotte, Miami gets left out. My- Charlotte gets left out, cause those are the see Miami, Miami made the six. See Miami, I'm, I, I. They didn't really do much. Anymore. Yeah, but they didn't haven't done anything. The same team they've had three for three years, and they've always been in the playoffs somehow. Because Polstra is that good of a coach, and those guys He's are. Very good coach. In, I I don't you know I don't know what they put in the water at the facility there, but these guys are in the best shape. Like Dwayne Wade leaves to Chicago. Has a couple of deep dish de- 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 pizzas and he comes back like a year later and loses like 15 pounds in a week. Are they, are they even resign him at all? Or hey, that guy's going to China. I would go to China or I would just retire. I would go to China or retire. Go to China or retire. Oh, yo, give him that last contract. Like, listen, y'all know if it's in the East, y'all know y'all go if y'all gonna make the playoffs or not. Just give him his last contract. Be like, sign this one year. This is going to be your goodbye tour and, and be over with. Not even. I would sign him for a game. I would give him like a... You wouldn't give him a goodbye tour? I wouldn't. No. You would give Dwayne Wade a goodbye tour I, in my, Miami? Miami would want to give him one. I don't think the NBA would care to give him one. Well, it don't matter if they care. It's what, if Miami, if you're in charge of... If you're Pat Riley, you're not giving Dwayne Wade a, a going away tour? Are you... Let me rephrase. If you're Pat Riley, are you really giving Yo, Dwayne? hey, Pat Riley, bro, it's over with for you if you don't give Dwayne Wade a goodbye to <laughs> Pat him. Riley you don't care. Pat Riley doesn't oh care. My he would sell his children to win a championship. Like, Pat Riley... Like, hey, look, you can sell your kids to win a championship, and you still wouldn't win it at this point with that roster, buddy. Oh, no, he wouldn't. But that's my... I, like, I don't... But I, I, oh, I don't that see... That would hurt my soul. I don't see it do it. I'd, like, I'd see... Like, the, oh, more, the most I see is play one game... Drop like get sixty shots like like Kobe did or some shit like that, oh my God. and then just like there you go. Here's your right. like jersey. You, you your jersey goes up right it's away. It's gotta be the last game though. It's gotta be the last game. I don't think he plays that much. Well, that's fine. He could hey just travel with the team. I don't think be better in leadership. Help Justice Justice Winslow uh, figure it out because he's supposed to be good. Miami's that type of team. Uh, and that's how they find Whiteside. That's how they find all those guys. Is they will literally scrape the bottom of the barrel to find anything that could service their team in the future, and they wouldn't sacrifice that for anybody. 
That's terrible, man. I, I'm just telling no, you. I, I feel you, but that's <laughs> terrible. It's Pat Riley. He oh left us for God. the heat. Like, Pat screw Riley. Pat Riley. <laughs> Pat Riley, brother. Dwayne Wade brought you championships. Without Dwayne Wade, y'all don't have championships. Get that man his goodbye tour. Um, man, like Pat Riley could have like easily made LeBron stay, but it was like no, easy. I'm more, I'm, I'm more, easy. I'm more important. Yeah, this is <laughs> like, what are you doing? So you think, so you think, I so, I'm saying, so you think like he wouldn't, you wouldn't do make an effort to keep LeBron or Wade, you would make an effort for Dwayne I think, Wade. I think <laughs> the difference, difference is though, Dwayne Wade means a lot more to that Heat organization than LeBron. Does. I I agree with you. I just don't think. And Pat plus Riley PR that looks. But I mean, so I, well, NBA players don't really care. I think, obviously, Toronto just traded DeRozan. But. I really do think Pat is the. I think uh, the Miami might get that eighth seed. So we said. So uh, that means Cleveland will be left out. Yep. Um, yeah, that's probably what it means. Yeah, because I put I put Detroit in there, so that means Cleveland's left out. Charlotte, we don't even know what Charlotte is doing this all season. They have like. Mitch Kupchak, you traded back for Timothy Mozgov. You can you can say that line for the last for for every single offseason in the history of Charlotte yeah. as a franchise. Look, put it this way, Charlotte, y'all just trying to be profitable, so y'all will get close to the playoffs and not make it, and that's gonna be profitable for y'all for Michael Jordan's pockets. No, the problem so is that's what's gonna happen. The problem is when somebody like thinks they know basketball because they were a player, but they don't as anymore apparently. Or they let little things cloud their opinion. Are you, who, who, who specifically are you referring to? Michael Jordan. I think Mike put together some good people, but I think Mike meddles too much. Because my That's thing my with point. my thing is that Mike just be the owner and let the people that you've hired do their job. Yes. But I don't think that should be an umbrella statement for people <clears throat> that know basketball in general. Because apparently last year it was they. Uh, everybody wanted to draft Mitchell, but he said, no, I want Monk. So they drafted Monk. And apparently a few years back, Boston Celtics won trade five of their future first round picks. Not like the... For, the, for So this was what happened. The, the story is that Winslow is dropping, remember? Right. And any age loved Winslow. Oh, okay. And absolutely wanted to draft him. He gave him. like everything. He like, like said no. he almost gave the farm up. They would have kept like a couple broken picks and like the the uh, a couple broken picks, I think. Mm -hmm. So they would still have Tatum and Brown, I think. But everything, every other first round pick they've they've had since then would be gone. Mm -hmm. For number nine, mm -hmm. and get Justice Winslow, and get Justice Winslow as at that, mm -hmm. and. Michael Jordan said no and decided to draft Frank Kaminsky over that. Well, look, I'm going to tell you where it all started. After he chose, well, even if you said, all right, you messed up and chose Kwame Brown, you chose Adam Morrison to be successful in today's NBA. Oh, God. Mike, that's when, after that, I thought you were like, I'm going to just let other people do the job and I'm just going to be owner. Because I think that you can have a good balance of people that have the basketball experience with analytics. But Michael was chosen to do a lot more of a, no, nah, I like this guy. And normally whenever Mike does a, no, nah, I like this guy, that don't end up working out well. Hor so, <laughs> Not to take massive shots, but let's go. Who do you think has made worse decisions, Dolan or Michael Jordan over their tenure? Oh, God. My thing with, I would give it to Dolan just because you expect for the Knicks to be better. Yeah, and, and my thing and my thing is the reason why it's worse for Dolan is because people actually wanted to take our money and come here. You know, be, so so we we screwed ourselves in that. Yeah, yeah. But it wasn't because like like we we pretty much drafted pretty well except the Jordan Hill fiasco. But everything else we drafted pretty well. Mm -hmm. Um. So it's never been about that. It's just us about not being patient as an organization enough to just wait till we actually have a good team around. Yeah, our young players. Now, uh, just real quick, because we didn't, we talked in depth about some of these other teams. Um, we didn't really talk much about Cleveland or Detroit, uh, even though we said that like yeah. they could battle for that AC. We haven't said much about them. I think Detroit will get the edge because they have um, he just won Coach of the Year. Why am I forgetting his name? Dwayne Casey. Yes, they just won. They got Dwayne Casey, and I think everybody on Detroit's roster would be healthy. Sure and that. I think that I'll take 
Well, not even I think. I'll take Detroit's roster over Cleveland's you, roster. You really think Blake is going to play 70-plus games? When is that? I think he'll play 60 games. Okay. I think he can play 60, and I think Andre <coughs> Drummond God, will carry a bit so more to load. Bad. So, uh, I was going to say I think Stanley Johnson is going to make that step, but I'm not going to say that because I don't think that that's, that's going to happen. That's another team. Imagine if they had Mitchell over Bernard. Because Kennard was drafted right before Mitchell at 12. Man, look, I don't know. I'll tell y'all, I don't really, no offense to Duke, I don't really be liking Duke guys like that because they don't never really, it's a crapshoot. And your team drafted one. It's a bet. Except Brandon Ingram has <laughs> been pretty good, though. Like, again, crapshoot. And your other team drafted one. Who? One of the car juniors. <laughs> oh, well, I still, jury's out. Like, he looks, he looks really good. Yeah. But we still got to see what happens. But, okay, even if you say one of the Jr., Brandon Ingram, Kyrie. Kyrie Tatum have worked out. You can be iffy on Jabari. That's even that's though Jabari's a, lot, a twenty that's point a game. lot recently though. They've done better recently because right because Coach K's one and done is done one and done. Yeah, he's, his well. one and dones uh, most recently have been more successful than the past X amount of years. And RJ RJ Barrett and Zion like RJ Barrett's gonna be good. I'm hoping so because it it would be. It would be tragic if they got all three of those guys and all three of them flamed out in the NBA. That would be tragic. That would be horrible. Uh, well, but, um, if Coach K actually taught his players to play in the NBA, that'd be nice. Yeah, but I mean, he ain't doing that. Coach K is like, oh, you came to Duke, right? Okay, so you're going to learn how to play here at Duke. Just like, just, yo, K, uh, get off your ass and teach some defense for once. Yo, Coach K is like, I'm Coach K. I'm not doing that. You came here to play for me. Stop it. <laughs> Just like, it right it's like now. your offense is fine. Just coach on defense. Just yeah. once. Zone. Figure that shit out. <laughs> just like, um, it's like nobody plays zone. Cleveland. What do you think of Cleveland? What does Cleveland think of Cleveland? <laughs> it's like, Dan, this is like the smart thing to do. Like, like it, it's so possible for them is to just strip Everything. I, that's why I felt I was shocked at the Kevin Love signing. No, the Kevin Love makes sense because it's easier to trade him. It, you, you, it's possible, especially with cap increases, that mm-hmm. the deal looks a little better. Mm-hmm. Especially because he's going to have the ball in his hand 95 percent of the time. Right. Um, but the smart thing to do is just strip everything down, get as many assets possible, and freaking. Like they screw leprechauns every Saturday because when the lottery happens, like they're the luckiest people on earth, the Cavs. So just bet on that again. You might get another Kyrie or mm-hmm. or LeBron. That's your best bet. That's the only way you're going to be well, good, anyways. That's why I was shocked about the love signing because it wasn't attached to a trade elsewhere. Well, because it's to get some assets back. Because I felt that they were in a point of, yo, we're okay. We just lost LeBron. Let's just blow this whole thing up and just be like, all right. Um, Look, who? Why do I? I wanted him to be on the Bulls. Why am I forgetting his name? I'll be forgetting everybody's goddamn name. Um, point guard. Oh, Alabama. Sexton. Sexton. We got Colin Sexton. We gonna figure this out with the other kid that we drafted, uh, Perry Jones, I believe is his name. And we just gonna let the balls roll. Yeah. Y'all gonna play terrible, and then like you said, we gonna somehow luck up and get a good pick because the NBA likes giving us good yeah. picks. Yeah, <laughs> my my thing exactly. Uh, have Bill Simmons have another stroke on my television. <laughs> uh, my uh, my thing is um, uh, they what they're doing now this year is just Dan Gilbert pure spite is trying to prove because the one argument people have on the LeBron mm-hmm. Michael argument is that Michael after he <laughs> retired uh, <laughs> right. was was a uh, the Bulls were still incredibly good. They were like four calls away from going to the finals. <laughs> the next, for, and then the, two the year, following two, year, two, and then the year after that, they were also yeah, very good. Yeah, they were good. also like still good enough to almost make the Eastern Conference Finals. So they were great. Yeah. Uh, uh, he came back. They were the best team in the league again. Right. But LeBron, you would know. <laughs> the Cavs are not going to be good you next year. LeBron, and it, you're done, brother. Your situation is over with. But somehow Gilbert's going to try to prove that he can can muster a contender in Cleveland mm-hmm. without LeBron because it hurts his personal man ego that he can't admit that like he the only reason why he's a champ is because the greatest player to play the game 
arguably, arguably yeah. Uh, was born in the in the in your state in your state. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's I, the only. I agree. It's like when, remember when Dan Gilbert wrote that letter? Oh, we're gonna win a championship for LeBron. Funny how that worked out. You drafted the year Kyrie after, Irving, yeah. Andrew Wiggins, Anthony Bennett, and Tristan Thompson, and oh, don't forget Deion Waiters. God, that's so bad. Um, so that's so about... bad. Oh my! When you put it like that, Anthony Bennett, Tristan Thompson, and Deion Waiters. Like, all of those three were top five picks. Oh, I forgot. Uh, Deion Waiters oh, on Miami, if he stays healthy, you can kind of work that out because he played well last year for he you. Didn't, he didn't play much last year. Yeah, he played, so. I mean, he played when he was healthy. Yeah, yeah he, he played looked, good. But yeah. once he once he got hurt and was on and off, it wasn't that good. Yeah, I see Miami, Detroit, and we said, what's the, th- the other team? Uh, Washington. Washington, yeah. Oh, we didn't really talk about Washington. Um, <laughs> oh good God. luck with y'all locker room, buddy, because now you got John Wall who looking out of shape. You got Bradley Bill who ain't scared to say my point guard That's is so out. Right. We play better. And now you got Dwight Howard. And Scott Brooks don't like having player confrontation like that because, duh, he was coaching at OKC and they would always be going at each other. And now you got Washington and all this stuff is playing out in the media. Woo! Have fun, Wizards fans. Man, it's, I, I never thought I'd say this, but I'm happy to be a Knicks fan. <laughs> Oh man, it's have like, fun, it's, Washington. It's like I really like John Wall. I like him too. I like he's so fast and but. so explosive and so good at everything. But also, he's never had a good coach. He hasn't. He's never had a. Would you say that John Wall is like Alex Smith? Oh no, he's better than Alex Smith. You think so? Yeah, John Wall is more like. But he's never his coaches all every year he's had a different coach so he's never really been able to be like I've yeah, had yeah, two it. years in this system and can be myself. Yeah, but Alex Smith, the only the only the only comparison is they were number one overall pick. Uh, Alex Smith is like not a freak of nature. John Wall is one of the top five athletes in the league. Well, I'm not I'm not saying that. I'm saying in terms <clears throat> of comparison to their storyline and how it went. Uh, he's closer to Cutler than he is to Smith, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not a great teammate super potentially athletic I mean he produced more than Cutler did it's, it's debatable but anyway yeah I mean, um, like, there's not a really yeah, for, yeah, like, yeah we, we can't there's no way to really be able to judge but yeah Washington um, yo y'all probably gonna have to get rid of John to be successful at some point but can you get rid saying, of John can you get rid of John I don't oh yo nobody's taking a contract unless y'all give up like Y'all gotta take something back that's horrible, and I don't know what you can give up. My my thing to, is to, for that to happen. My thing is the West is gonna be so competitive. There's gonna be a lot more buyers and sellers this year. In the West. Yeah. Yeah. Although I don't know if it's going to be the case because people are gonna see the Warriors being everybody but thirty points and what not is, care. No, that probably wouldn't happen. That's the, that, like, like if if you take the Warriors out, this year is primed to have even more crazy movement. Yeah. And there already has been. Yeah. But but all the crazy movements kind of been like absolute superstars. Everybody else is getting screwed over mm-hmm. in their restricted free agencies and taking below market contracts and mm-hmm. taking one year deals. Mm-hmm. The only people who are doing well is the super, super, superstars because they're And always, Marcus Smith. Shout out to him. Marcus Smart. You know. Marcus Smart. He he it's a below market contract. No, it's still I mean it is. It's but. it's not a good contract. He made he, he turned down a, he turned down an offer sheet that was like four or five million dollars uh, less than what he actually signed for. It, like they I mean it's it's I mean it's great for the Celtics, but it's it's kinda screwed. And if he I was him, I probably would took a qualifying offer. Me too. And just been like, I'm gonna play this year out and then get my money next year. And I don't wanna say this to be a dick, but the problem with the Celtics right now is they're one trade away from being the Warriors. Um and that trade is for Anthony Davis. And to make that trade happen, you need some mid-tier contracts. So stuff like $10 million, $11 million. Because the only contracts they have on their books is Kyrie, Gordon, and... Uh, Marcus. And uh, Horford. That make uh, about 20... Are you saying big, big enough to make a trade for him? To make a trade. Okay. And you probably want to keep all three of those. I mean, you might... Yeah, if, I'm, if, I, if I had the option to, I definitely want to, to get Anthony. So, so to trade out of the thing, you probably have to trade Brown, but the salary doesn't match. No. So you need Brown, Smart, and a couple other guys to make the money work. And so you're going to need to sign this contract, and I think Marcus Smart is 
All right, let's see what, what we have this year with him. It's he's a good in our rotation, but we have no hesitation to trade him. If we oh, I would, I would absolutely agree. Which is why I was like, that's why I would take the qualifying offer, so that way I would Especially in Boston. put myself in it. Yeah, it's, well, like you saw how well they played last year, and now these people are coming back healthy. Give me a qualified offer so I can control my destiny. Versus, yeah, I'm gonna be a Boston for life. You might get traded somewhere next year where you don't I'm, want to be for another three like years. I'm not. If I'm Kyrie, I know. In the bottom of my heart, I'm out, bro. I'm out. I'm, I'm out. Done. Get the f hell. I'm out of here. I, I like. I know. It's not even gonna be enough money. I mean, cut you off. It's yeah. not gonna be enough money to pay everybody. I mean, who cares? They they can pay the luxury tax. That's not the problem. My my, I think they would if it if it got them rings. Uh, they'd have no problem. They're one of the top. They're the, one of the four teams in the league that would have like Golden State has no problem. Lakers have no problem. The Knicks have no problem. And I think the Celtics would have no problem paying that much money. Everybody else, you'd, you'd have an argument. Um, <clears throat> but the thing with the Celtics is, uh, I think Danny Ainge is, the moment he sees an opportunity, there is no qualms about Ah, uh, there we go. Gordon Hayward. Because um, if you ain't going to be sentimental. I mean, he would be in the trade, but I think he wants, you want... You want I think you do everything to people. You want as many switchable shooters. Like, Gordon Hayward can switch two through four. Yeah. And you want a guy like that. Yeah. Um, and he can shoot the the lights out, and he can do other things, and, and he's good. He's a really good player. Mm -hmm. So, I don't think so. But I think Kyrie giving... And, and Gordon has been healthy his entire career. Like, I... I the thing about it, that these if Paul George was the same way and Gordon was the same way, these injuries or like even the Tra Travis Ware one, you remember that horrible mm -hmm. one? The ones that look the ugliest are usually the ones that heal the, the best. Mm -hmm. The ones that are just like clean break, disgusting, monstrous, like looking, yeah. looking tear, usually is fine. It's the sneaky little, uh, it's the it's the it's the quick like Baron Davis's knee. Uh, uh, like foot goes here and then his knees go his entire knee goes the other way yeah you don't see anything but if you if you've ever walked and you, and you walk yeah. you watch it you know that guy's done you know yeah i think that um the only uh oh damn oh the only caveat to that that i will say the one point that you did say is i don't think paul george has been the same player since he came back from that but uh, in general I can get a sense of what you're saying with that. I think physically he's the same, mentally he's not. That's just that's a, yeah, that's a yeah. good problem. Um, so that's after that, don't really have much to say about Charlotte because we kind of talked enough about that. Um, the only other teams left are New York, Brooklyn, Chicago, Orlando, and Atlanta. Um, I think, well, obviously, Atlanta, y'all not trying to be good. So it is what it is with y'all. You just had good luck figuring out with Trey Young this year. Um... Orlando, we have no idea what y'all are doing. I mean, at that point, it doesn't it doesn't matter? It's like it's like who you're, who's like it's those those teams. Like I, as a Knicks fan, like I don't care about the season. Yeah, well, like, we're not making the course. I, if we win a game, I'm pissed. I like, wouldn't honestly. Even, that's like, really what it is. Like, if I'm Dave Fisdale and I'm over there with Porzingis right now, I'm like, hey, you know, you're not playing this year, right? Uh, I would disagree. I'd say he'd play the month a month out of the season. If he's healthy, if he's a hundred percent healthy, he's ready to go, and you're just holding him back just to hold him back. I would, I would like to play him because he is a seven foot big man with an ACL tear, and you have to prove to hopeful free agents that he can still play the game of basketball. And a workout is not enough. So you need to. I think he needs to play like not much, like 10, 12 games, just just to be like. Drop like 25, 10, and, and If you and put five a gun bucks. to my head, the most games I would say he plays is five. I'm not paying. I'm not playing you past five games out of the entire season. Uh, you know what? He's going to play 30. Probably. <laughs> it's probably Prob going to play probably. 30. Probably. Um, Brooklyn, y'all still figuring out. Chicago, I think while y'all still figuring out, y'all got potential to probably be like out of those five teams that I named, y'all got potential to be the best one out of all of them. I don't want to be the that's best not, one. That's not saying much. I'm 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 be, I'm really hoping the Knicks what happens is that all our young kids do incredibly well. Yeah. But we lose every game in the last minute of the fourth quarter. Yeah. No, I mean that's by like I mean, that's, four points. That's that is my ideal scenario for the entire that's year. Honestly, how what happened with the Lakers last year is that for three and a half quarters they play well. And in the last six minutes of the fourth quarter, 
they would end up losing. And you know what's funny? It's been my next existence, that scenario, losing, losing <laughs> life. But, <laughs> but for this time, it's not overpaid veterans that have no, 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 like, no good Because now, this time, yeah. you're like, we got direction now. Yeah. Versus like when the Lakers had Steve Blake as a start <laughs> point guard and um, Xavier Henry and Ryan Kelly was the forward, Robert Sacre was the five, and I'm like, <clears throat> and Jordan Clarkson was the two. I'm like, guys, we have no direction. When our best rookie over the span of like two years is Pablo Pigioni, there's a problem. Uh, I <laughs> and out of all those things, just real quick, because I do the Chicago videos, uh -huh. I think that uh, Chris Dunn, after going back and seeing the improvement that he made during the winter time last year, I think he can be really good this year. I think Zach Levine, I want to see how well he's going to play for a full season coming off that knee injury because immediately coming back, he played well. Let me see how you do now that you're saying that you need to prove to people that you're worth even more than a contract that you got. Um, you're not going to be. But Denzel yeah. Valentine. Hey, brother, good luck because your spot just got taken because Jabari's there I now. Forgot and Jabari's going to be able to give them 20 because he was able to give Milwaukee 20 <laughs> off uh, off the injury that we had last year. Lowry Marketing is definitely going to be the four. And I think he's going to have an even better year than last year. And I'm feeling a bit better about Wendell Carter Jr. than I was when he was first drafted. Um, I hope. I'm still uh, interested hope, in seeing how he does, though. I hope for posterity, we all like go back to this video in three years when Wendell Carter is like a consistent 25, <laughs> 10, 12. Hey, listen, five. I have no problem admitting I'm wrong. And, I have no problem doing and that. Colin if Sexton wrong, is is like rich man version of Alfred Payton. We'll like we'll all be like, ah, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Look, if I'm wrong, then I have no problem admitting. You're the that. highest person I've ever seen on Colin Sexton because of yeah. one game. Colin, yo, because Colin of one Sexton game. game. Well, aside from that one game, he just gets buckets and and. But every time you talk about it, you're like, purposely. he was three on five. I'm like, I mean, yeah, he yes, was. he yes he was, and they almost won. But still, um, I'm I'm the, only, the the main reason why I really wanted the Bulls to draft him was was because I missed the jump Chris Dunn made during the winter time. I did not see that. So, you know, so you, had I had that had I known that going into the draft, I'd have been cool with being like, you know what, that's fine that they didn't draft Colin Sexton. I still would have been like, who is Wendell Carter Jr. But I would have been fine not drafting uh, Colin Sexton as long as they didn't draft Michael yeah, Porter because now he had to have back surgery uh, now. Yeah, of course. You know, you know what's funny about the Colin Sexton thing? It's funny how a player plays better with, with less teammates than with, 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 with more teammates. That's, That's not a good sign That's for you. That's hilarious. <laughs> it's like, hey, man, look, the other two guys, just set screens, brother. Y'all ain't got to shoot. Just set screens. I got this. But um, I think that's pretty You're much You're standing in two, the two corners. Yo. <laughs> literally. Like, yo, just you stand over there. You stand over there. And when it gets to 14. Just run from one corner to the, the other. Just keep running back uh, and forth. And then last thing we're going to talk about before we get up out of here. Uh, you got any big predictions for 2019 offseason? 2019 offseason? Yeah. Last thing. Uh, realistic? Uh, sure. Once, because my pie in the dream is like KD and Kawhi, if Kawhi's healthy, or KD and Kyrie. I do not want Kyrie and Butler. I just, Butler it just scares me, uh, injury wise. And also, he's ruined four locker rooms and two locker rooms now in the span of a year and a half. So mm -hmm. I'm scared of, of Butler. But um, I don't know. I see. Uh, <clears throat> I don't. Kawhi's not a Raptor next year. That's 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 yeah, not that's bold. The, not even. That's that's that's. Look, that's like breathing air. <laughs> yeah, it's just like. If it's you like a, if, listen, if you're a Raptors fan and you think that Kawhi's gonna stay, you better look at who the Lakers are offering, who the Clippers are offering, and who is not a superstar in 2019 free agency, because that's more likely who y'all gonna get next year, next to Kyle Lowry. You know what I see? I see. I do. For me, Ke Kyrie is not a Celtic. I think he's a he's a Nick. I I know, uh, I know like any rational sense of any rational basketball sense that makes no sense. Mm -hmm. But knowing how bad the Celtics, some like how bad the Celtics did Isaiah, and how oh I'm gone. And, and how Kerry is like already like kind of on the fence about staying there, and from everybody like. And Terry Rozier played well last year. Yeah, it, like I. I I don't see, and plus every Please. single, every point guard you put in that system is a freaking uh, Hall of Famer uh, under Brad Stevens. So like, I don't, I don't see Yeah, it. it's like, I, I literally can't judge you under Brad Stevens because I'm like, yeah, you're going to play well under Brad Stevens. I need to see how you play when you get out of it. 
uh, Jay Crowder, Avery Bradley, um, Isaiah Thomas. I mean, the bold prediction, if it's not bold, is like Kyrie and, and Durant join the Knicks. That's the bold one. But I think, I, if I'm Kawhi, I'd go to the Sixers. He don't like the cold weather. You don't, it's six months out of year, not you're living in L.A. They literally said during All-Star Weekend, he stayed in his hotel room unless it was a, a mandatory thing he had I, to go I, to. I understand that. I, I, he's a grown-ass fucking man. And his, his whole family, I think that the whole situation is kind of ludicrous from the sense that your family is like, no, come to L.A. And that's the primary reason that you're going. I still think that that's kind of crazy. But if that's what it came down to... I'm, I'm just sad it even no, got to that point. I know. I'm just like, if I'm Kawhi, I'd go to the Sixers. One, because their doctors know me the best. Mm -hmm. uh, and they treat they actually are the ones who treated me when I thought I was I was, health, I was wrong. So I owe them that. Um, I, he's, he was in the offseason. Like, the other thing I don't understand is people were like talking about how Kawhi hates the cold. But you saw him in freaking in a club in New Year's in New York. And, it's and Danny Green was there. Danny sure, was there but we also apparently he was rehabbing in New York the entire time. Bro, I have, the story is wild in itself. To me. But that's my I point. Is like the entire time he was rehabbing was winter, and he was in New York. So if he hates the cold so much, why don't you do it in Miami? And you a, ca you can't. That's a good question. I have, like I that's my that's the thing that never made. It's like because of one ending down on the All Star game, we just like say like the man cannot handle cold. I mean, same way people was like, oh, he should have played through. I mostly just talk about Skip Bayless. He should have played through the injury. Well, Danny Green did all last year because of a missed diagnosis. No, no, screw paying so, through the injury. Isaiah Thomas is a perfect example of that. Yeah. I mean, if you can't play I'm, somewhat, sure. Sure, but I'm first still, of all, I'm my ass just down. whatever you do, don't do the Jeremy Lin. I can, I'm eighty percent. Don't ever say anything like that. This, just don't put a percentage on it because because it's just because people will be like, are you seventy percent now? Are you ready to go now? Just say I'm not ready to go. Uh, but it, if you can play, like you don't have to be clay that broke that plays with a broken arm, but you yeah, can be wouldn't. like yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I think I th I th I see. I see Kawhi on, on the, I see a thing, the inevitable is, is Kawhi on the Lakers, and I don't, it wouldn't shock me if Boogie joined them after a healthy season, and that's your team. I wouldn't be mad at it, I just gotta, for a lot of fans out there, just know that you're not gonna get the, like the 25 and 10 Boogie is gone, just I hope everybody knows that going into it, but you can still get a, a good enough player. Yeah, you can get 10, you just, 25 is, that's gonna be hard. Like he'll get the rebound. Yeah, I think he can. I think he can do the rebounds, yeah. but I think that it's more on the points end. You're not yeah. gonna get that anymore. No. But um, I still think he can be a really good, really good player, especially coming off of um, coming out of the culture in Golden State, State which is yeah. why I'm a bit higher than I normally would be on Javale as well. Saying you were there for longer than what Demarcus was, so maybe some of that might be able to help transition you into here. But nonetheless, we'll see what ends up happening. Uh, guys. Thank y'all so much for tuning in this video. We know we talk for a long ass time, but we know <laughs> that y'all are gonna fuck with it because that's why you're still here watching at this point in the video. Um, you got anything else that you want to say before we get up out of here? Uh, please, next lose every game so we can get RJ Barrett. That's <laughs> pretty much the only thing I have to say. All right, well, aside from that, um, only other thing is I got to say is uh, next time we get some Lakers or Bulls news, um, y'all will be hearing from me relatively soon. Um, after that, just keep checking to be uh, here for any other reactions or anything else that'll pop up on the channel and as well as the alternative videos that'll be there as well uh, Thanks guys so much. We appreciate it. Make in sure to shout out Max in the comments Let us know if you agree or disagree with any of the opinions that we had in the video and Stay blessed. Stay favorite. Always stay tailored. I will see y'all in the next video. Have a good one guys Ugh.